Hi, today I just have a quick video showing how I emboss a 12 inch strip of cardstock or paper um, using the cuddle bug. And first I'm going to show you the way that you would probably typically do it is cut your strip of paper. This one's about 4 inches wide and 12 inches long. And you'll put it in your embossing folder and run it through your machine. And the problem comes when you turn it around and put it back through to emboss the other side, as I'll show you here in just a minute, it will leave a gap in between the two. You can see right there, it will leave a gap in between um, the two embossed sections. And how I do it so that the whole entire strip is embossed is I put it through sideways. And I'll show you here in just a minute how I do that. There you can see that big gap and that doesn't look very cool when you want to use it on your page. So how I do it is I take the embossing folder and I put my paper through the other way. You can see it there and then I'm going to put it in the machine and I'll run it through and you're going to have to run it through several times um, for this 12 inch um, long strip of cardstock, I'll have to run it through three times. But you can line up your dots and when you're done you have a nice embossed strip of paper that's embossed all, all the way across. So I'll just be carefully line that up again and then I will run it through two more times. And I take my time lining it up because I want it to look as perfect as possible. You can't probably get it exactly perfect, but close enough. It will leave a tiny little kind of, it. the way these are made, it'll, it'll kind of push down some of the embossed dots, but it's not too bad. I, this is the best solution I found for getting a nice uh, em, embossed 12 inch strip. So I'm going to run it through here the last time. And there you can see the entire 12 inch strip of cardstock embossed. And you can trim that down however you want. I'm, I'm just going to show you here how you the uh, new embossing folders that are like the borders. You can do it with those as well. Like this one has a little bit bigger dot. If you want to, you can run it through. You're going to have to run it through quite a few more times. But I just thought I would show how it looks there using the bigger dot. And that's the finished strip once I've run it through several times. Thanks for watching.